Hi, um, hello booktube, um, my name is Janelle, um, and I am here today to talk about a series that is near and dear to my heart, and that is The Protector of the Small Quartet by Tamora Pierce. Um, so this is a series that is written for more middle grade children, but I am going to be rambling a bit today about my love of the series, and there won't really be spoilers um, if that's what you're worried about, but Tamora Pierce is an author who I think does not get nearly the amount of attention that she deserves, and I really wanted to do what little I can to promote her, um, to promote her amazing work and how, and really share how much it, um, really inspired me as a child when, um, and was really there when I needed it to be. Um, so this is, um, so I recently was in a uh, clinical trial and I got paid with an Amazon gift card and I could have done the responsible thing and used that money for textbooks, but instead I got the, um, the Tamora Pierce books. I, um, and... So this um, this one um, first test is the first one, and this one page is the second. The third is Squire, and the fourth is Lady Knight. Um, I really wanted to support, support more Pierce, which is why I um, bought the books new because normally I like used books, um, but. What I really want to talk about today is, you know, how I found them and what they meant to me and what I think, um, and how important I found them and how, um, and to recommend them to, um, you know, young girls growing up who may not have strong female role models. So the first, I stumbled upon the first book from my local library one day. Um, so this is an older edition and I, um, um, but I specifically want to get in this edition because this is the edition that I have the most fond memories of. Um, so this, um, so Tamora Pierce writes a series of um, fantasy novels that are set in the fantasy world called Tortal, and Tortal is the, um, is a medieval-like society that, um, but has, um, that is based off of medieval England, but also has, um, magic involved, and, um, and magical creatures, things like that. So, um, several years before this, um, uh, before Kel, um, a woman named Alana, um, disguised herself as a, as her twin brother to complete night training. And that's another series and it's called the Alana series. Um, and I enjoyed that one as well, but not nearly as much as the Kelladry series. And so Alana goes, um, and Alana succeeds. And when she does, the king is forced to repeal his ban saying that women can't become that, saying that women can't, um, become knights. And so, um, <laughs> oh, but Kel I think 10 years has passed and Kel, who is now 11, wants um, wants to go through night training and she is the first girl uh, since Alana to undertake night training. And because she's the first girl who's not disguised as a boy, this is obviously, um, uh, she receives a lot of criticism and a lot of um, unnecessary hate and a lot of um, older people who look down on her and who assume things about her and who, um, and um, so, yes, she's only 11 years old, and she's going through, um, and she becomes a page in order to become a knight, and she lives at the castle, and, um, honestly, um, and we, Kel was an ama amazing protagonist, and she was an amazing role model, because Kel is, um, <laughs> because Kel is not only determined and confident and bold and courageous, but she is also gentle, and she is also, um, merciful. And it's called Protect of the Small because she protects, because she feels a mission to protect those who are left out by the status quo, whether that be animals or peasants or, um, or, uh, foreigners. And, um, uh, Tamora Pierce really captures this balance. So when I first, and so on the back, it, Lord Wilden, who is the training master of the squires, it has a quote, girls are fragile, more emotional, easier to frighten. They do not, they are not as strong in their arms or shoulders as men. They tire easily. This girl who would get any warriors or serve if they're killed on some dark night. Um, and 
especially for me growing up in the environment that I did, I really had no um, female role models at all, and it was very sexist and misogynistic, and um, uh, my father wanted me to grow up to be a preacher's wife, and that's it. Um, but reading about Kel, and to this day, she's still my role model, and so um, really gave me the confidence to do things that I wanted to do and to, you know, fight my way um, into areas that I wasn't necessarily welcomed, whether it be like the robotics team or um, um, or anything else. And um, to this day, I love to go back and reread these books because I think that because um, reading about Kel and her courage to do what she wanted and no matter what um, horrible things people said about her and um, being a, a hard worker and a um, and a courageous knight and caring for those who were less fortunate than her it just was so inspiring and um, it meant everything to me and so I um and actually so this is the last book in this quartet Lady Knight and I actually um my library d only had Lady Knight as a paperback and because of that it was shelved in a different section so I only thought that there were three books in the series for like five years and I remember when I found this book by accident and I was thrilled it's like finding out that there was a whole other Harry Potter book that you just never knew about or that like I don't know Hemingway actually wrote another book that never got published or something and I remember being so thrilled and pouring over this because uh yeah um because Kel was just such a huge source of inspiration and I love the and I love the escapade she got into and I loved how dedicated she was and I um and how brave and to this day you know Kel is my role model even because even though she starts off the series as an 11 year old girl um so I just wanted to talk so I just wanted to ba basically talk briefly about or not so briefly about my love of Tamora Pierce um she has written many other series some of them more current um and so you should definitely check her out and if you do know any um, younger girls in the middle grade area or even you know elementary through high school I do really recommend these series and the Tamora Pierce books um particularly if they're interested in fantasy because um, Tamora Pierce writes the most complex, wonderful, inspiring female characters, but also writes a, but also just a, writes a really um, beautiful fantasy world. And um, yeah, I honestly can't recommend it enough. And um, I actually do like this. Is, um, these books meant the world to me. And like I remember, um, <laughs> I actually feel quite guilty about this. But so I was reading Page, um, and um, my library had a hard copy, hard copy edition, and only one on only one um, on book, only one copy. And um, I was reading it one time, and actually I would check out the book so often, I would remember, I would go like, oh, on page um, 220, there's that stain from the time where I cut my finger and I bled on the page, and I would remember where I had stained these things, where it stained each page. But half of the book fell out, um, and I remember thinking, um, um, <laughs> and I actually feel kind of guilty about this, but, um, now, but, um, I hid the, um, uh, first part of the book under my bed and I would read it every night before I would go to sleep. Um, and eventually I returned it, but, um, cause I realized, oh wait, this means no one else can find the series. Um, but I just wasn't thinking about it at first. So, um, if you really enjoyed Tamora Pierce, let me know. I just wanted to have a discussion and see if anyone else absolutely loved her because she is, far too underrated um and yeah i i don't know one of my dreams is like to meet her someday or something and basically become a giant fangirl um yeah i don't know um so if i ever become famous like the first person i'm going to call for to meet will be tamora pierce just to tell her how much her book her books meant to me as a child and still to this day um and yeah it like um i i just I just love them. And so that's why I that's why I finally was so thrilled to um, buy my own copies of her books so that, that way I can keep them forever and ever and ever and read them to my own children and um, yeah, no one can ever take them away from me. So um, yeah, I just wanted to share my love of her series for uh, with you guys. And if you have read any of Tamora Pierce's books, particularly Protected the Small, but also any others, let me know in the comments and I shall